Hello everybody, this is John with Napco Technical Support. In this brief video tech tip, I will be discussing how to bypass the iBridge app from connecting locally to your system via a Wi-Fi connection and allow it to always connect remotely upon launching the iBridge app. Uh, this feature is beneficial to those installations where the customer may just have a Starlink Connect radio installed without any local uh, internet connection to the radio uh, therefore, not allowing the app to connect locally uh, when you uh, first launch the iBridge app. So again, this will allow them to simply open the app and log into their radios even easier than they can do so already. Um, and on this demonstration, I will show you, um, as you see, I am connected to a Wi-Fi connection. And if I press iBridge, and as you see below, it is connecting locally. Um, because it thinks that I'm on a Wi-Fi connection and it's going to connect it locally to the system. Uh, so to easily bypass this, uh, if we click on settings and we go into the startup wizard, uh, as you see here, I'm connected to this SSID. You know, if you select a, another SSID in the area of say your home or business that you do not connect to, uh, the app will automatically bypass the Wi-Fi connection and connect uh, remotely through the radio connection. Uh, so I'll just select a, another network that is not in my saved SSIDs of my phone. And I'll press save and go next. Save, save. And then now, I'll back out of the app and I'll click on iBridge. And as you see already, it's connecting automatically remotely to my system uh, easier than uh, we could do so already. Uh, this will conclude the video tech tip on how to bypass the iBridge app from connecting locally uh, to your system via a Wi-Fi connection and allow it to always connect remotely upon launching the iBridge app. I hope you enjoyed this video tech tip. Uh, thank you for choosing NAPCO and have a great day.